to my channel. Today in this video, we will learn what is Pythagoras theorem. So, this Pythagoras theorem is used in a right angled triangle. You have a right angled triangle. In this, this is A, this is B and this is C. You know the value of A and B, but you don't know the value of C. So, how we will find the value of C? How we will find the value of C? So, to find the value of C, the theorem is used which is known as Pythagoras theorem. And the line, this, this line C is known as the hypotenuse. This line is known as the hypotenuse. This line. Okay. So, now we will see the formula which is known as Pythagoras theorem. So, it is hypotenuse. Hypotenuse square is equals to a square plus b square. This is the formula. To find the hypotenuse, we have to add a square, the square of a and the square of b. So, we will take a simple example here. For example, the value of a is uh, 4 and the value of b is 3. Okay, the value of a is 4 and the value of b is 3. So, we, here we will simply put up the values. Hypotenuse is equals to a that is 4 square plus b square that is 3 square. Now, we will solve this. So, you will get hypotenuse square is equals to 16 plus 9. So, hypotenuse square is equals to 25. Now, here we have to find the hypotenuse, not the square of hypotenuse. Here we found the square of hypotenuse, but we have to find hypotenuse. So, how we will find that hypotenuse? For that, we will do hypotenuse is equals to 25 in square root. Because the symbol, this square symbol will come this side and it will become the square root of 25. So, we know what is the square root of 25? It is 5. So, we found the hypotenuse that is 5. Okay. Now, we will take one more example. If you have given that if the value of a is 3 and you have given the value of hypotenuse also. So, we have to find the value of b. What will be the value of b? How we will find this? So, to find this, we will use the same formula. Hypotenuse square that is 5 square is equals to 3 square plus b square. Now, what we will do? We will just Solve this 5 square is equals to 25 is equals to 9 plus b square. Now, what we will do, we will just simply, um, we will take this 9 here in the left hand side. So, what it will become 25 minus 9 is equals to b square. So, what is the value of 25 minus 9? You will get 16 is equals to b square. Now, we will what, what we will do simply for removing the square symbol, we will uh, add 16 in root. Means, it will become 16 square root. So, what is the square root of 16? It is 4. So, therefore, we get the value of b is 4. So, now here are, here we have three conditions. In the first condition, we have to find the value of hypotenuse. In the second condition, we have to find the value of A. And in the third condition, we have to find the value of B. So, we learnt two conditions in which we found the value of hypotenuse. Then we find the value of uh, B. And now we will see how to find the value of A. 
So to find the values in uh, all three conditions, we have to use same formula which is known as Pythagoras theorem. Now, if you have the value of B, if the value of B is 3 and you have to find the value of A, you have the value of hypotenuse also, you have value of B, so we will find the value of A. How we will use the formula? Hypotenuse square is equals to A square plus B square. Here we have hypotenuse square that is 5 square is equals to A square plus 3 square. We will get here 25 is equals to A square plus 3 square is 9. So how we will find this? We will simply take this 9 in the left hand side that is 25 minus 9 is equals to a square. Now 25 minus 9 is 16. So 16 is equals to a square. So the square of a is a 16. But we have to find the value of a. So what we will do? Therefore a is equals to square root of 16. So we will get the value of a is equals to 4 because square root of 16 is 4. So the value of a we got 4. Okay. So in this video we will learn to, we learned what is Pythagoras theorem. So Pythagoras theorem is hypotenuse square is equals to a square plus b square. So to learn such concepts please subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get notified when I will upload new videos. And don't forget to like and share my video. Thank you.